browser write allamar.com then go to downloads if you are using mac os click on here if you are using linux click on here if you are using windows then click on here since i'm using windows i will click here download for windows preview now a uh, file will start downloading now we have to wait After downloading, click on open file which will execute the download file and you should see this screen. Now let's click install. After the installation has been done, you should see the software on your start menu here or you can find it on the location, you will find it in the location here which is C users, your username, app data, roaming, Microsoft, windows, uh, start menu programs or if you want the executable, you will find it here which is in CA users, Byronic, App Data, Local Programs, Olama. This is the executable. Now let's run it. When we are here, we are going to run this thing on the terminal. First, you will deselect everything, then shift, right click on the empty space here, then click on open in terminal. Here, you will write on PowerShell, on Windows PowerShell, you will write dot slash Olama. You will see that you will see some help from the software. Now I have confirmed that the software has been successfully installed. Now we have to download our model. To open our model we have to know what kind of model we need to use. So go to your browser here click models or go to the live or go to the url olama.com slash library and here you will see a lot of uh, models pick you can pick whatever you want but for this tutorial i will pick this one which is called llama 2 so go to your terminal write dot slash olama then write pull then write the model name which is llama 2 then it should start downloading the model and now you will have to wait for it to complete
after successfully downloading we will run it but first we'll ha- i have to say something about it for powershell if you wish to run this olama executable you will have to write dot slash o l a m okay so for command prompt you will have to write o l l a m a dot e x t the difference is that there is no dot slash here but, but for powershell you have to put dot slash here and now i will explain to you what the comments are in powershell so the first one is serve which we starts the olamas uh, server here i will i can create a model using uh, olama create which explains here like create a model from a model file the list model command shows the list of models you currently have on your pc the run command we will use later to run a model the pull command as we just uh, pulled uh, all our two from uh, the registry we used to pull a model from a registry the push command pushes a model to a registry if we have our own model we can push this to the registry the list command shows all the list for the all the list models the olama has the cp command are used to copy a model the rm command is used to run a model the help shows the help about my command so what these commands do it will you can get it from olama help so let's demonstrate one first let's see the list model so if i if i type dot slash o l l a m a Olama, then if I type L I S T, it will show all the list. I mistype it. The existing uh, li- model we currently have on our system is Llama 2. Dot, oh, latest. Then if we type uh, dot slash O L L M A, then if I type H E L P help, then I will see the uh, the screen the text where it will show me the information about the comments now if i turn off my internet net let's go to airplane mode and if i try if i run our model which was called uh, llama 2 then we should be able to run this without any internet dot slash o l l m a run what was his name it was named llama 2 so if i type l l a m a 2 it should run offline now if i type what is chat gpt question mark it should give me a response without any access to internet since i'm using a cpu and my computer doesn't have a graphics card it it is kind of slow now so if you have a graphics card you will see response a bit faster i will wait for it to complete the response So this response was generated without any connection to the internet.
now there are a lot more model you can uh, run on your pc locally you just have to type their name and if you want to know what these models do there are description you can you can click on phi and this model has a 2.7 million longest model and it was made by microsoft research and this was last updated uh, seven weeks ago you can see this information here now there are a lot of models so you can try whatever you want and they will run locally on your computer so that's how you can run olama on your computer locally without any connection to the internet uh, thanks for watching